Okay, so, it's been a while, guys. It really has. We haven't been in the darkest dungeon in what feels like seven million years and counting. But, I'm ready. I haven't really... I went into a level one with a bunch of level sixes just to, like... Make sure the game didn't crash, pretty much, and that's really all I've done. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back. Oh in. my God, newbie's back for the nine-month resub, dude. Thank you so much. We got a baby. What are we gonna name it is the question. Actually, amazing. Wow. Literally, as I start the stream, what are you doing here? Get off my lawn. Happy birthday, by the way, you beautiful man. Um. Yeah, the number was pretty close. <laughs> I have no idea what we're gonna do. Um. Do I have chat up on screen? I should put chat somewhere on screen. Oh, I do have chat on screen. It's in the bottom left. Whatever. We'll keep it there, then. That's fine. All right, man. I, dude, thank you so much for the resub. Dude, have an amazing birthday. I appreciate you. I love you. <laughs> have a good one, man. I hope to see you later. If you are around, we're going to be doing multiplayer shenanigans uh, late tonight. It might be a celebration stream, so I might be doing, like, 12 to 15 hours tonight. We'll see. <clears throat> if you have any spare time, because I know birthdays are super busy times. Mm, okay, let's let's decide what we're gonna do here. So we got Swine King for a 34 leaves clover. And the hood only. The hood is it's the evasive, not safe for work lady, right? <laughs> Who are you? The wheeled witch. Oh yeah, that's one of the new modded characters. There's a lot of mods, boys. There's a whole lot. Lots of new classes and stuff. Now, who is the hood though? We have one of those, don't we? You. Yeah, it's you. It's the not safe for work lady. Who, she's kind of like, um... She brings in extra money, but via food. It's really strange. This gives her 10 dodge and 10 protection. What else do we got? Oof. That ancestral's looking so good. What's this? Aldrin's of malicious intent. Death blur resist, crit accuracy for dodge. And it's part of the set as well. Wow. I don't remember what the Fury does, but it looks good on paper, dude. It has a lot of stats on it. Come on, let's go to the town. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played, so this first one's gonna be a while. I kinda just need to see, like, what we have upgraded. Okay, so we're still looking for deeds. And... I think that's... About it? What else actually needs to be upgraded? I mean, it's kinda. So we're looking for deeds and then just the normal everything else. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, we have either the Swine King or the Brigand. I hate that. Man, I hate fighting the Brigand. I think that's such a boring boss fight. Super uninteresting to me. It's like way too gimmicky. 100% extra damage when starving, but you eat less. Light and bleed, but minus virtue chance. Dude, just meh right there. Alright, let's go kill a boss. Um, but what boss? I don't think I'm ever going to use this, so let's go after this. We might use this because it's class specific. So we want like level 3s to 4s here. So you're a bounty hunter. And this is the Swine King. So we do need people to hit really hard. Okay, so I'm thinking... Yeah, I don't really care about the stress. I'm thinking let's take like a tanky vampire in the front. Let's get... 
a hard-hitting stun bot in the secondary. Now, we kind of want stuff to mark. Or we want to be able to mark it. I pass stealth, D stealth. I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to figure that one out. I have no idea what that is at all. I think that's some new mechanic or something. You mark. You could be our healer. Oh, be stun self. Do we have <laughs> anti-stun stuff, or where are we working on that? Oh God, the first. I'm telling you, man, the first day back on the the darkest dungeon grind is gonna be horrible. We're gonna have to find out everything again. But I'm happy to be back. I really am. I've been missing the game. I finally got my new computer set up, and I'm dude, I'm ready. I'm ready to play video games. We may have to move our cam as well because this is the the cam I use for League of Legends, so it may not work for this. But we might just say fuck it for this first. Venture back. I guess we just don't have any anti-stun stuff, which kind of makes her not as useful. Um, I don't remember what she does, really. I mean, obviously, she turns into a werewolf. Why else would her name be a werewolf? So can you go to the third position and hit the front? You indeedly do can. So we're going to actually move you back one, and we'll take another melee target. Kind of thinking, like, maybe we move the vampire back? She doesn't need to be in the very front. And she has moved forward if stuff goes awry. And let's bring a warrior of sunlight. Do you not want to go with a vampire? What is he saying? I will not serve with this creature? Dude, that's fucked up. It kind of makes sense, though, to be fair. He is a vampire. I don't know what this does. No bleed chance, a lot of extra healing, more protection and HP. Debuff and stun chance go up. Okay, so this is like a debuff stun trinket for him. So it turns him into the healer instead of the DPSer, which is fine. I don't know if he has enough healing to actually be useful in this team. You know, let's just try it though. And then we'll bring a backline damager. I guess we won't really be using our mark mechanic. Okay. So he's done with trinkets. Good. Make sure he has all the heal and stun stuff on, and it looks like he does. Now, who do we want in the back? I kind of want, like, another mini healer. Somebody who can also damage a little bit. This target, or this one has stuns, which is always useful. I don't like your damage abilities. But he also does a little bit of damage. I mean, it's, you're not gonna break barriers with it. Could also just straight up bring somebody who does like a million damage. Also has a little bit of a heal, but then we'd need a de-stressor to deal with her. Man, this is actually this is a lot more than I remember. With all this crap. You can use this, 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 and this, and you have de-stressing. Okay. So let's go with and we already verified that we don't have any um resist stun. So we'll give her stress healed. And, yeah, I mean, that seems perfectly fine. Wait, is this for her, too? No. Last restriction. Oh, looks like we don't have anything. We got this, but it's not Celestial Array. And you're done. All right, do we have anything specific for you? We do. You have extra damage or marked and stuff, though. I don't think we're going to be doing that. Scouting and monster surprise chance seems really good, and he already has zero protection, so they don't go into the negative. As far as I know, I don't think they go into the negative anyway. And then I kind of just want to give him, like, some big damage. And I think... After first round, 20 damage to speed, 5 dodge. I just sworn we had something that was better than this. Oh, we'll just give him 15% damage. Now you. This is a weird one, right? Because, if I'm not mistaken, the vampire's slow, but hits really hard and heals herself. Hmm. Nobody has minus accuracy or anything, so... Just give you a little bit of damage and, like, um... 
more damage. I mean, why not, right? We don't have any stuns. And we could give this to you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. We'll give this to you because it gives some damage. It also gives a stun skill chance, and he does have a stun. Alright. So let's go make sure all these people are ready to go out and party in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm happy we checked. What's up, Bobap? What a do, baby, boo. Oh. So, stun, stun, heal, heal. Um, I think I actually really want that skill on here. I think we probably... Um, actually, we probably need the party heal, but we don't need the guaranteed heal, and we'll go with the buff. I think that'll work out. So we're actually, like, lacking a bit of damage in this party, but I think it'll be fine. Oh, it's gonna reshow us all these tool tips. Jesus Christ. Um, so we get crit levels. This is a boss, so we should take this stuff. Take... You who have low dodge. Which is both of our tanky characters. Um, grab one of you. Um, yeah, I guess that'll do. I don't know how much food we need. I'm gonna go 12 and a half. I think we're, we're fine on hills, so we'll grab the necessary amount of torches. Grab the necessary amount of shovels, and now we can just take, like, consumables. Um, so... There's a lot of bleed here. There are spiders. This is for secret runes. And we could take these for the boss fight, so... But then again, we want free spots, but hopefully we should use some of this stuff. And I don't plan on using this. We'll just get rid of it. There are a few who cause war, but I guess we'll just take two of these. My first attempts at summoning were crude and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. That's, uh, that's just special. <laughs> a nameless abomination, a testament to my failures. It must okay. be destroyed. So we don't know where he is. He's in one of these two rooms. Yeah, he could be in either of them. I like taking level appropriate people for the dungeons. I don't like over taking people super high over the level. I just feel like it kind of messes with the balance so much as to where it's not fun. Ew, what the fuck? Well, here's this to whatever that was. So, I mean, our hardest hit in person, we should probably buff, right? Or we could stun. Yeah, let's stun this guy. Yeah. Plus stress that way. Guarantee the kill or... Slows your protection. So I'm gonna do that. Hey, You! Mark his bitch ass. So there's less damage if they're bleeding. But nobody's bleeding. So. Eradicated. My god. Crit on the first round. That's the way I like it. Ooh. I thought he had to be further back for that. Wait. Oh, he missed, so he marked himself. Oh, no, we marked him. He stunned himself. But he has more stun resistance. Okay. It's actually not bad damage. It's a really, really low chance to stun, just because, um, without buffing himself, he only has, what, 40% from the trinkets? Yeah. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. You can attempt to just kill with stun here. Disadvantage. Oh, Give yeah. Them no quarter. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. So we could start bleeding and then deal more damage, or we can just deal raw damage. I'll just deal raw damage here. Because he did stun himself for a turn, so we kind of get a free time turn to, to slap on him. Beyond one's limits. I still love the skin, though. 
Um, it's pretty much no chance of stunning him. 190%? Wham. <laughs> you would need some kind of crazy setup to get that to work. A momentary abatement. So marked. No. Don't do it. Yeah, actually, he wasn't that bad. Oh, he did stun, though. He was not aware of that stun. Prodigious size alone does Zap not that dissuade ass. the sharpened blade. Dude, that corpse looks absolutely disgusting as well, and I love it. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So, this is permanent, so we should use these, actually. So, highest damage is going to be this guy, so... Uh, this is permanent, right? Yeah, one class. So we'll give him crit and damage. Dodge. He should probably dodge, too. And then... You're self-healing, so you don't really need the protection. You already have a million. Maybe you. We'll just grab the rest of this. I kind of hope we get a scout when we get close, though. This would be so good to get rid of either of those. Because they're all permanent. Corn Rotator and Fragile are both bad. Um... I mean, Torn Rotator doesn't even matter on her. I think we're actually going to go for Torn Rotator or Fragile here. What is this? Oh, I guess these are the things that can interact with it. That's interesting. Torn Rotator. It's 5% more damage for us. Take it. Take it all day, baby. Come on, be a good scout. Okay, it was a good scout. Perfect. Let's go this way. Get a little bit more action in our lives. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Before we start this battle, let's see. Do we want to camp? What's the point? Oh, we can get fragments of power. That's a that's a good reason to camp. That's the only reason to camp, though. That's a little disappointing. Yeah. A swine gore. Stealth. Monsters with stealth have a shadowy appearance and cannot be hit by direct attacks, but are vulnerable to area of effect attacks. Additionally, some hero skills, such as the shield breakers exposed, can hit them while in stealth. These skills have an additional effect of de stealthing the monster. Okay, so now we know stealth does. Good to know. So we know this bypasses stealth, but we can't hit him. So I think we just like help him out. Interesting, that lowers our own damage, which doesn't matter at all. Does this reveal stealth? It doesn't. And we can't hit you because you're stealth. You've already used your turn. Um, how much protection? We can take away your protection and just kill you next turn. You being be stealthy. I kind of want to start working with this guy. Oh, that's actually really annoying. And he doesn't de-stealth him. Oh, okay. It's not unlimited, though. I was a little worried that he's just stealth for the entire battle. That would be pretty annoying. He can get hit by AoE. And does it deal extra damage? It said vulnerable, but I think it just means that they can be hit by it. Yeah, it definitely just meant that they can be hit by it. So he's not dead, unfortunately. But he will die next turn, so we can ignore him now. Though he really tried to make our lives a living hell before he went, which I guess I can expect. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. There was a decision on whether we should have healed or not there, but oh. ears. <laughs> Maybe we should have healed. The end approaches. Let's heal self, but also you're dead. Remove some of your protection. You must have resisted it. This heal is so bad. Let's try to buff and grab a, a good heal turn here. Don't have to worry about you. A little unconfident getting crit there, man. That actually really, really hurt. 
Okay, we ignore his turn. He's a dead. slow death. Get out of here. What are you doing? Unforgiving. Don't want to kill you. I just want to make you regret your decisions. Some damage. Is that lower damage? Devo self, it does. Ah, fair enough. Dude, that hill still sucks, man. It does give extra buffs though. We'll get one more of these. Momentary hey, abatement. it's your boy hitting the crit. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. With a Samula. So I think we will camp here. We haven't avoided the night fight ability also, so I'm not worried about it. We got a full circle in the dark. In. The battle may yet be won. It's so cool that he takes off his mask as well on the skin. Oh my god, it's so good. So there's the avoid the night fight. I saw that we had one. Prevent nighttime ambush. Yeah. Stresses her. That's. 100% fine. Now let's do this. Um. So, let's go ahead and give you the speed so we can keep doing this. I think we can do it three more times. Yeah. So just crit. Um. How do you get rid of stuff? Control. Um, we can just do this. That one's just gonna stack anyway, but we'll still get rid of it. One more. Speed. Okay. And can we do anything else? We can surprise. We can get rid of a little bit of stress. Self only. Hurt somebody. Oh, she bites them. Gotcha. I guess we'll get rid of a little bit of the stress. This makes sense. Moans. Yes. I've seen nothing the to be afraid of. Struck. A blazing star is born. Hey, we also gotta remember to take our other consumable before combat here. So Nom and I guess Nom? I mean who else is gonna be doing damage here, right? This doesn't stack, I don't think. I think we're good. This is gonna be a tough fight. Because we don't have like the pure burst lit. damage. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, we're lacking a whole lot of burst it damage, which is, is kinda scary. A, travesty, a blundering mountain of hatred and rage. So I think we start trying to debuff him. He resists the debuff, which is pretty unfortunate. No no no, not me. I think we start by buffing. It would give us the resistance so we don't get ourselves stunned. And she doesn't care about damage anyway. And I also, as lame as it is, we're gonna just miss out on the first turn of damage. I think this is just like our get all the stuff out there turn. Now, now remember, we don't have good heals. Our heals are very mediocre. So this could get real bad real fast if things go over. She should resist, yeah. Masterfully executed. Smiles. Smiles everyone. I still hate that Wilbur does damage, by the way. Pretty much no chance to stun. Yeah, pretty much no chance to stun. So I think we just hit it with one of these and hope for a regen. Hey, there's the regen. A singular strike. Mm -hmm. We could debuff, but it's really good damage on him. Ow. That, that, that does hurt. I will admit, you know, I'm one to admit it when it happens. It does indeed hurt. There's no chance to debuff but he doesn't really have much dodge could just heal or I guess you can just keep up just buff it out man the protection is nice he keeps going for the best target to attempt to stun so that's awfully convenient we're about halfway through here 
They're getting faster than halfway through us, though. Which is a little scary, I will admit. He just, it's another banger, dude. He's just putting it out, letting us know. Some say he never left. All right, we're at the point where we can't really do that ability anymore. Mm. Mm hmm. Arg indeed. Um. He ain't half about it. But this will keep him from being knocked by Wilbur, which is nice. She can be stunned pretty easily. Yep, she can be stunned pretty easy, by the way. The wounds of war can be healed. But he got another hidden. stack of it, which is pretty convenient. But he's being targeted again. It missed. I think it does less damage if you're not marked. Do we remark him? I think we just go all in and try not to die here. Fifteen percent prot. That's pretty good. Inspiration and improvement. Okay. What? That's perfectly fine. Just keep doing that. I like that, actually. She has 25% protection, I guess. 15 plus... I don't know where she got the rest. Oh, we gave it to her from the... Never mind. I know where she got it. Let's just buff up and get ready to a deal with this final blow. Of skill and purpose. Remember, we still gotta deal with this asshole afterwards, which nobody likes Wilbur. Oh, he gets another turn. It's 20. Okay, never mind. We're okay. Every little thing is gonna be alright. will it take to gnaw through a ton of putrid flesh? At least three. So we no longer have the stun chance buff on us, unfortunately. Do we heal just to make sure he doesn't get into death's door from Wilbur? I think that's the choice. It's like the boring choice, but I think it's the right choice. Me. They can't, the, the most important part is you can't stun this chick. She has like, what, 150? 100% extra stun resistance. Just to make sure nothing nothing goes wrong here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Sickly idle diseased. 20% healing received, 25% blight resist and disease resist, but lowers max HP and lowers bleed resist. The only good swine is a dead one. Omen seeker. I don't even know who that is. Um. There is a way to get rid of this. It's shit. Gotcha. Take these. Um, I mean, we're done with the mission, so. And this stuff is worth more money. Drink up, baby. Let's go. So we bring home some more crap. Got some good stuff. That is not much money. Ooh. Got another level 5. 30% bleed chance if you have the Crimson Curse. 20% more healing when camping, whatever. Ooh, quick draw on her is actually quite nice. She has like 4 speed base. That literally is a double speed for her. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Another werewolf. A librarian. What? Who are you? How's a librarian obsessed with killing? That sounds like a crime novel that I'd read. Okay, so she was bleeding white. And what? Give us some more XP to party. Stress somebody out, gives them one block? I don't know what that is. Hmm. That's very confusing. So she can blight people. Very low damage blight that debuffs. Oh, that's so good, actually. It's a full 
Wow, that's so good. Wait, wait, wait. That's the blight is a zero percent chance. So that's probably never gonna happen unless it goes off with leveling or we stack trinkets on her. But I don't want that. I want the debuff. This DOS target for twenty five percent damage is really good. It busts us with five percent resolve XP. I don't understand how that works because you don't get XP per fight. You get XP at the end of the dungeon unless it lasts for the entire dungeon. Hmm. I mean, we'll take her because that sounds really interesting and I'd be interested to try. I kind of wish we could like sort by who we have. Like, do we have a Fury? I think we do. I remember playing with one previously. There's a Ronin. Um... Hmm. I'm like 99% sure. Hold on, let me... He has a mask on his face. That's what we're looking for. Mask on face. Mask on face. I don't think we have one. We have an abomination. We have a werewolf. So. Move resistance. I mean, this is always really good. This is actually incredible. Do we have one of these? It's a white trinket. We probably don't need two of these. So let's sort by rarity and let's go down to these. We're looking not for this one. I guess we could also do by class restriction and then look for... God, it's been so long I actually don't even know what the trinkets look like. How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. I've got nowhere to run. And I'm looking for trinkets. I know these are Vestal. Here we go. These are... So we don't have one. Yeah, we should pick one of those up. Like, I mean, yeah, you're probably going to have better rare trinkets, but for 6k, 4% 4, 4 crit and 20% crit, or 20% damage on Eldritch, when you know you're going into an Eldritch heavy zone, I mean, so damn good. I hate my life for doing it. Because 6k is quite a bit when you're poor, but we need so let's let's plan out where we're gonna go before we party out whoa minus 50 percent stress now that's really good it's 11 percent damage and six percent accuracy completely for free four man sword that's a lot of resolve xp the pegasus i thought of a pegasus Bleed skill chant, bleed resist. I mean, that's interesting. Not, nothing stands out to me here where I'm just like, oh my god, that's so cool, I need that. Air Gears Convention. I don't remember what that is. So I'm looking to see if there's any cool events. All Saints Day. It's like more damage, more something on your next adventure into the runes i think okay so nothing here seems overly interesting so i'm gonna go for all saints day just because we get to bring this librarian out on a mission go and unequip and sort by rarity this is the classic so got a list of mods I do, but it's not updated, so not really right now. I do plan on updating it soon, though. But currently, no, unfortunately. I don't even know if this is going to work. No, it won't work, because Nightbot's not in my channel anymore. No, I don't have it right now, but it will be uh, updated soon. Okay, so I definitely want Forbidden Chant. It's mostly class mods. There's also, like, uh, enemy edition mods and stuff like that. So I want, like, everything that I can use from the back. I think that's... That'll work. That'll do. Um, oh, and we've never used you either. What do you do? Looks like you deal with bleeding. And where are we going? We're going to... Okay, you do not belong in the ruins, so never mind. Go for the eyes of blue. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, she has un... Her range stuff looks like it doesn't deal with bleeding. It's... 
actually looks pretty good. It de-stealths people. Does more damage to humans. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. We can bring this guy. I don't really remember how this guy works. He like changes forms from decay to frost or something. And apparently another one called disparity. Yeah, sure. You know the guy who gets more pissed off as his health lowers, I believe. Who are you? Twilight. He's de-stressed, he has a marked target, the debuff self. Does more damage to Beast and Eldritch. He's a repost. And a move forward ability. Hmm. Are you the tanky character? What do you do? This is the chick with the heart that's hanging out of her back. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. We can just take the time to level you up, but we need a healer at this point. Do we have the Crusader healing trinkets? Mm, Crusader, Crusader, Brain is Vestal. I guess we don't have a low level Crusader anyway, though. You can heal, can't you? I, I haven't played Dark's Dungeon in a long time, also, by the way, Shaq, so. Kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, you can heal, but I think your heals are actually pretty meh. They also come with like murdering yourself. Can't heal. You're all about killing blood suckers. And you can't heal either. Hmm. The Lamia can? If I remember correctly. Yeah, but it's not good healing. And we don't really have any good healer for low level. You don't do healing. I don't know what this person does either. Well, let's see if we can pick one up in the uh, the stagecoach. No. <laughs> the end. Um. You know what? This would actually be really good for higher level heroes to show up. I guess we can bring you and make you heal. You can go to the second position. Um. That will use that. It's nice if you get out of position, though. So you aren't going to be in front, so you can do Abyssal Artillery. This D-Stealth, we probably need to make sure we have D-Stealth abilities on. Because that is a new mechanic that does exist, and if we don't have a way to deal with it, and we can't hit with AoE, we just lose. So I think we need to keep this on, even though I want something else. We already have somebody debuffing damage, so we can just go for this. Yeah, I think this will think this will do. So this is targeted. This is AoE. Let's get some trinkets up in here. Let's go by class restriction first. If HP below a certain point. Eh, that's super interesting to me. Um, eight dodge for one speed seems pretty valuable. You have no protection anyway, so even more dodge and some crit. Because he, ar he already has super high crit anyway. I think I want you to be like my main damage dealer. So, good stuff. And we could just give you more straight damage, but I kind of want to go for more crit. Hmm. And we don't seem to have a really good way to do that. Here's 1%. That's not very incredible at all. Now this guy. I don't know how this guy works at all, so we're going to be using and learning and learning and using. We don't seem to have any specifics for him, but he is a melee, and he is slow, and he has pretty good tank stats. So let's just give him damage. And damage. Actually, 
Six percent crit. Does he melee or does he have ranged? He looks like a melee guy with a giant sword, obviously. Okay, it looks like it's half and half. It looks like he does half melee, half ranged. Hmm, more melee than ranged, though. Now the librarian. So this is like a support character. Who I think we need like a better chance to debuff for her. And probably like... Probably some resistances. She also has a blight, but I don't think we're really going to be getting that down. Because we don't have anything that's like insanely high blight chance. <laughs> hmm. Nothing here really seems that interesting to me. Just blight skill chance if we wanted to try it, but I'm just not super interested in that. I kind of just want debuff chance. Debuff skill chance for dodge, and then we can stack our dodge up. You know what I wish there was? And I don't know if this mod exists, but it needs to. Can I get something that, like, sort by stats or something? That would be, like, the main stat of the item, the highest one. That would be super convenient. It would be really hard to do, because there's a lot of really confusing stats on some items, but it would just make my life so much easier. Because right now, I want a high dodge trinket. And I haven't played the game in so long, I don't know my trinkets by heart. So I'm, like, sitting here looking like an idiot going through. Here's actually some good dodge and extra HP and stuff. Alright, let's see if everybody has everything. Can I do this to the top? No. We got too many! Okay, everybody's upgraded. Check the skills. I don't know what we do with this guy. He's gonna upgrade everything. Because he has all skills unlocked anyway. This'll do. This pot A will do. Okay, so we start with three torches. I wonder who does that. It's probably the librarian. I think Grave Robber brings the shovel, if I'm not mistaken. We'll just stack that up. We'll bring a lot of food because I don't know how the healing's gonna go. It's always like a you know. You never know if you're going to get lucky with the rolls on the occultists or not. So I like bringing extra food. And we have the money. You know, if you got the money, you may as well use it. Because you're going to be spending a whole lot more money if you end up having to completely re-level somebody, right? Uh, 2-2. Two, two. We'll bring four keys because sometimes you get lucky here. Two holies. And then we'll stack out to something like this on torches. I think that's good. I don't think we need anything else, so... Why not? We got five of them. I wanted there to be four in my inventory. Oh, God. I heard the waifu. Oh, yeah. She got a... We got a package in the mail today. I don't know what it is, though. I think it's some shoes or something. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. Mm. Now that's a gross dungeon to look at right there. So I think like we're just going to run up here, do a little loop-de-loop, and then come back down and be unhappy with our decisions. <laughs> I don't think there's a way to be happy with your decisions. Even the enough. cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. I give accuracy to our highest... Highest guaranteed damage hitter. A bone chopper. Hmm. Be gone, that's a super high chance to kill there, so I think that's the right choice. What we got here? Let's take a look. So we have the debuff. We have the guaranteed debuff. We have a heal that almost crashed the game when I selected it. That's odd. It's a terrible heal, but it does cure bleed and blight. And then we have minus stress on someone. So a singular strike. That was lucky. He buffs some marks. And... Okay. Uh, guaranteed kill. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. 
I think he does more damage to mark targets. So let's see. Zero damage, plus zero damage, not for self. One block. I have no idea what that is at all. Um, we have a damage ability. Shuffle single for the enemies, I believe. Self switches mode to decay, and he loses speed for himself. So what is this? This loses. This goes to frost. The same damage, slightly different crit. I want to see what this block mechanic is, right? I've seen it on a few characters. I want to see what it does. Damage block. Damage block tokens, also known as Aegis tokens, absorb 100% of the physical damage from the next attack that strikes the hero. Oh, wow. That is really good. Um, I don't really know who's the bigger threat. Like, my brain says this boy because he does more damage to crits, but this boy is looking scary with the big ass axe, yo. He's guaranteed dead if we hit either way, so it doesn't matter. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So, we just lower his damage more. Okay, so it does resolve XP for the entire quest. Interesting. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I have no idea what this guy does. It's gonna be fun to find out though. So it doesn't matter who we open this stuff with. Why does it say that this wouldn't work? Oh, this is because we don't know what these do because we've never tried them on that, I think. But we know this works, right? Yeah. It's interesting. Dude, I love doing low levels with low levels. I don't know, it just, it feels right. I mean, the high level dungeons are more fun and risky, but some about going back to that little bit of old school. What the fuck is this bullshit? What is this? <laughs> this is not cool. This is not my definition of fun. Powerful blow. Oh my god, this is actually hell. I mean, they don't deal damage really. But okay. Oh, I should have did this. Well, shit. So he can't move forward anymore, but this will swap him to Frost with that means. Eradicated. You fucking annihilated, son. Guaranteed kill or the chance. I'll take the guarantee. Decimated. There's still two madmen left. Holding their skulls and quivering. No, 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 no. Yo, this, this fight blows, and anybody who thinks this fight is good, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the frost does to this guy. Festering fear oh my god. Consumes the mind. Oh my god. I would, for the first time in my whole life, I wish we had Londana Lana Lana. Give them no quarter. Gotta get rid of some of that stress, man. So this is 15% for the whole party. Okay, so what is this? The giant AoE is plus damage if somebody is stunned, and it has a stun chance, and it these stealths has low damage, can be used twice a fight, Grimbane, 17% bleed blight chance. That is so confusing. Overpower plus 7% damage if you swap to disparity. Armor piercing? Jesus, could they have loaded any more words on the stricken kit? What's going on? I don't understand. I'm the most confused I've been in years. Continue the okay. onslaught. Whatever. Destroy thrall. I don't even know what a thrall is. I mean, I know thrall from Warcraft, you know what I'm saying? I wonder why we're getting food after every fight, too. That's abnormal. So you're, you're boned. You're getting 27 stress. Wow. I've never had to have Londonalum, or however you pronounce it, before, because it's never been 
There's never been a reason for it. Maybe that fight in particular will make you want to have it around just in case. Because that was one hell of a fight, dude. If you have one, like, unlucky roll into that fight, you could kind of get boned. Hold on one second. My neighbor is extraordinarily loud. You know it's loud when you have stuff blaring in your headphones on top of your head with a hat over it, and you still hear that. My god. So if we were ridiculously lucky, we'd find all the stuff up here and not have to worry about doing the rest of the dungeon. This backtracking is going to cause a lot of stress, and then going over here is just... That's a shit show I don't want to be a part of. Well, I wish you didn't, but that's okay. It could be worse. Can you undo tra You cannot undo that. Skulk in the dark like monsters ourselves. I mean, why you gotta be a monster if you wanna skulk in the dark a little bit, you know? You never just like felt a little emo? Need to get down and dirty in some darkness? <laughs> You know what's really weird? We're getting really bad frame drops in the game itself. Which doesn't make sense, because I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like mods loading stuff that hasn't loaded before. But it's just odd. I don't think I've ever gotten frame drops in Darkest Dungeon. I think we're just gonna. Yeah, this is good. Okay. I don't know what he does, but he's a necromancer and these are skeletons. So, one can assume that. Something like this would happen. It would just be like a never-ending skeleton party. Back to the pit. God, that damage is kind of nutty. Um, we should probably do this. Like, for 32 turns straight. Dude, you could power level so Another hard with this abomination check. cleansed from our lands. Slow's torch heals himself. The stun. Okay. So we're ignore his turn. Nobody really needs healing. I don't want to kill yet. I want to get another round of the de stressing in. Cause she took 27 from a bunch of madmen screaming at her. You know, now that I think about it, the premise of that fight is so ridiculous. I mean, that's for that's to be said of a lot of dark time to fights. Perform but beyond one's limits. That one in particular is just extra ridiculous. You walk into a room. There's Seize four pissed momentum. off madmen all Push standing in a to circle together, end. and they aren't actually fighting you. They're just screaming at you until you eventually leave or kill them. I mean, honestly, it's kind of brutal. Don't think too deep into it, or it gets real weird. <laughs> I don't know how you uh, surprise a monster like this, but I'm happy it happened. We could kill you. Hmm. Interesting. Another one falls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It did matter. One was 90 something percent, and that was 87. And of course we chose the 87 and you paid for it. Every time. You know what? I'm not gonna, like, kill myself, because I'm gonna make myself bleed again. I lied. Compassion is a rarity in the fever Oh pit god, that lag is so bad. It's when we use skills that we haven't used before, I think. I think, like, the game's having to hard load it or something. Like, oh, yeah. Executed with impunity. Oh my god. He just uppercutted that bitch. And improvement. That was one million percent beautiful and I love it. Hmm. 
All right, we got a long walk back. I really wish if you've already been somewhere, you could just click like where you wanted to go and it would just auto go through it instead of you having to click every time. I've said that for a really long time though. It'd be so convenient. Especially in like the really, really massive level six dungeons or something. Or um, in the, what is it? It's not blood yard, the courtyard. In the courtyard, that'd be super duper nice. Sometimes in the courtyard, you'll explore like 90% of it, and then you get to backtrack like a million miles to a door. It's super inconvenient. But then again, I mean, no offense to Dark is done. I love the game. But it's not about convenience. The wine taster. Same, dude. Can I just like get that job from you, if you don't mind? I'm really surprised we haven't crit with him yet, considering how high his crit is. So he has 4 HP, we only deal 2. I'm just gonna get rid of some of the stress we got. I think we can flashing daggers this. Potentially kill both. I'm actually gonna go into the K. Oh no, it knocked him back. Poop on a poop sickle, man. That's okay. I want to see this guy's turn because I want to see what his decay skills are, so... We're not going to kill you yet. I imagine it's just a giant AoE Blight or something, right? Tempest 15% damage. Chained his mode to Disparity. Bypasses Guard. Overpower 2, it hits 2 targets, okay. Zero damage versus zero percent damage not versus target mark. Seventeen percent damage received. What? Another disparity. Shatter. 110% chun chance. Huh. I mean I just gotta see what this does, like I'm just so confused. Okay, so he gave us her post, which he activated immediately. And gave us sun camp. As victories mount, so too will resistance. No, you're wrong. I like a lot of mechanics, but man, that's a lot of stuff going on in that. Are we really out of torches? Did I not buy torches? Finding the stuff is only the first test. We didn't buy torches. Now it must be carried home. Where did all our torches go? Hmm. Well, that's awkward. No, don't do that. No, oh, God. You idiot. All right, well, I guess we're doing a little bit of a dark run here at the end. I didn't... I know think about this. I know, use my brain. I think it's every time we're loading into a new area. Like, this is a place we've never seen before. This tile set on the back. It's lagging for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um, let's eat this food real quick. Oh my god, I really hope we didn't accidentally skip one of these. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Okay, Oof, we didn't. Um, will you please stop? Oh my god. A mega skull in another wine face chair. Well, nice to meet you. You were post. I don't know what that does. Let's just see what it does. It's and crashes the game. Okay, that's what that does. Just thought I'd let you guys know, because obviously you didn't know. <laughs> uh, okay, let's load back up. That is odd. Um, 
Hold on one second. Let me see something. Where do I have Darkest Dungeon at? I'm wondering if I just move all of it, because it's not a really big game. It won't take long. I wonder if I just move it all to my SSD. I mean, I don't know why it would... Yeah, I'm going to move it real quick. This is going to take a second, guys. We're just going to chill. I don't know if this is going to help, though. It might. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you guys can't see my background. Dude, I got such a pretty background. It's, um... It's like this chick walking on water, and, like, there's, like, a million stars above her. It's really, really pretty. This is a, a brief intermission, by the way. Mm. Coffee's hidden spot. Even if it's dark, as dungeon isn't. So, Dark's Dungeon is officially on my SSD. So, let's see if that helps at all. I don't know if it will. I don't know where the mods are installed. Like, because I feel like it's only... It was doing that on a mod. So, or on a modded creature. So, I'm kind of thinking, like... Maybe it's pulling... The mod files from my hard drive... To my SSD? I don't know. We'll see. If it crashes again, we'll figure something out. The runes bear all the signs of your ancestors' frenzied digging. Right. <laughs> How's the webcam placement, by the way? Let me know. I think it's okay. It's like, uh, it's, it's in the very bottom right. It cuts off like a super duper tiny bit of the map, but I think it's actually fine. And it covers some of the like um it covers some of the items. Or not items, it covers some of our like inventory slotted items in the fight, which I think is perfectly fine. Like nobody cares about that. There is power in symbols. Right.